Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. We got us Russell's Reserve six year Kentucky straight rye whiskey. It's a straight rye among us shirt. Rye whiskey, rye whiskey. Munga, munga. What are we going to do? We're going to test it. 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 Oh, Bruno, we're in. We're back. It's another rye. I'm Scott. I'm Bart. He's Bart. This is a whimsical whiskey review. I'm the short one. He's the tall one. Extremely freakishly tall. And what we do is we chat as if you're at the table with us right here joining us. It's as if you're really here, not just virtually. And then we do a one on the Are they at the table with review. us or are they at the bar with they're us? They're at the table. Because we ain't, I think they're at the bar. Table or bar. You can say whatever you want. Bar almost makes it like rock always, clubbing. I've always argued that way. Yeah, but that's like rock you clubbing. Table. We're bar hopping. No, I say bar table. House. Everybody's got bars at their house. Not everybody. You're at the bar. We're pretty unique. No, no, no you're at the bar. house. You're at the table. I'm like, no, you're at the bar. You're at the, you're table. At the table. You're joining us at the table. <laughs> Come and see us at the table. No one comes in and sits down at the table. Join us at the table. Drink. The table is like the, the universal welcoming place. Sit down at our table. <laughs> Welcome to the table. Now you do need to point out what uh, what number topper coin are you using? That number sixty. Sixty. Enough. All right. Russell's Reserve. Bam. Small batch, six year old Kentucky straight rye whiskey. It's a small batch. Forty five percent alcohol by volume. Digging that right there. We're hitting the forty five. Keep talking. Keep saying stuff, or I'll talk while you talk. I got a topper on. We're letting the smells. This weaken. is well. I wanted to make sure I didn't want to mess Do up it. again and, and no. claim this was a Kentucky rye whiskey or Could, that it yep. was made by Russell's. And then you and find then out find it's out an Indiana different. MGP. So I was checking, but, but it this is, one is not. It's distilled by the Austin Nichols Distilling Company in wow. Lawrenceburg, Kentucky. Lawrenceburg in Kentucky. No MGP here. No Indiana Hoosiers. Now, I, I guess we should have known that by the name because it does say Kentucky Straight Rye Whiskey. So when they put the Kentucky on there, that means that it has to be made and aged. I'm still dumb Kentucky. when it comes to that. You can fool me with your marketing. I think the same with Tennessee. If it says Tennessee, it has to be made and aged Once and again, in that state. This dummy's easily fooled by marketing. I'm fooled often. What was the one from Iowa that everybody flipped out on? Used to be real hard to get, and then they found out it was sourced from MGP. Oh, that's Templeton. Bam. Yeah, and, and we didn't, you know, we did Templeton. We didn't even talk about, you know, there was the we big did. lawsuit. Huge. Over the uh, false advertising, right. basically. Right. And they were actually issuing refunds. You, you could claim, I don't know if you had to have receipts, or you could right. say, well, I bought 40 I think, bottles a month of this right. stuff and drank it every You day. would need a receipt. I yeah. think they were they were a victim of their own great success. Yes, probably. Because there's great corn that comes out of Iowa. My clan mm -hmm. landed in Iowa from Germany and then had ranches and corn-fed cattle. Is that a good story? Yeah. <laughs> I was waiting for you to go, great. Yes. Great. All right. But this is from I'm sure Kentucky. There is some, I'm sure there is something in here that's going to remind you of something from the farm when you was little. Corn cob pipe. Grandpa's farm or Grandpa did smoke farm. a pipe when I was like a weed lad. And you'll be wrapped in a blanket. Uh, not so much in Iowa. We always went there in July. It was hot. It was muggy. It was muggy. There is a, a earth. There's a lot of earth and smells due to That's freshly tilled ground. Manure. <laughs> I know a lot about manure, brother. A lot. Speaking of manure, I like my black shirt, black hat, no rim, no cap, skull cap. You got KC rocking there. Kansas City Royals, not the Kansas City Chiefs. True. You're not a fan of the Chiefs, but you like the Royals. This is another one that we we tasted in July. No. You I just did. bought this one. Uh-uh. Russell's Reserve. You literally, I was with you in the store the other day when you bought this one. Well, then I That's not the something. rye. That's Russell's Reserve bourbon. Well, you just saved me a, a big conflagration. <laughs> I hit my notes, and I hit the reserve. <laughs> I'm glad I said something. I thought, man, this is a... Hey, you first, just bought this one like two weeks ago. I can't keep straight. It's like <laughs> rock stars and women. But for us, it's whiskey. Because we were looking for rye, and I was like, well, there's the Russell's Reserve rye. We haven't tried that one. And I think it was like 30 bucks. 
So you were like, oh yeah, jackpot. I'm going to have to lean on you on this one and you now I take can't notes. find my notes. You didn't take notes, I, did you? Uh, maybe not. You Thank goodness you've had that happen to you so you can't be so critical. I started. <laughs> I started. Well, no, I just didn't close out my notes from the prior review. Sure, that's what happened so. to me. I didn't go, oh, Russell's Reserve in July. I've had this since July. Um, I no, thought it about this like two odd. weeks ago. I felt there was an oddness there, which is why <laughs> I started talking about it. So, what do you get on the nose since this is me coming in with no notes? I get spicy, a spicy rye. Hmm. Alcoholic wise and, and rye spice. You could what? trick me. You could have said you bought this and walked home with it. Yeah. I would have been like, sure, whatever. I think you did ask me when I brought it back over. You said, did I buy this or did you? This one's been perplexing me completely and totally. Some dill some dill um, yeah. notes. I get a spicy pepper dill. Almost a shellac, like a little bit of shellac, which comes to me from, the, uh, from what I think is the alcohol, the higher ABV. A honeyed citrus sweetness. Yeah. yeah, I get like a honeycomb. I think I'm getting a little hint of the citrus. But now this sure. is when we did, we just shot the High West Double Rye and we talked about how it's a little bit different. It's got some different profiles. When I think of rye, this is what I picture. Or this is what my, what, what I expect to nose when I nose a rye. Hmm. You know, a pepper, a spicy, a rye, okay. a dill. Yep, I'm with you on all those notes. The smell's sweeter. Sometimes I can get an orange zest. I haven't gotten an orange zest necessarily with huh. this one. Just a, a citrus sweetness or maybe a, a honeyed sweetness. Mm. Strong dill on the taste. A little bit of that peppery spark as it trails out. I get that dry astringent on my cheeks. Hits me a little bit under the tongue. And it almost, the aftertaste stays really dry, goes almost musky. And it kind of disappears. I don't get an extended flavor, <laughs> the chipmunk breathing. I don't get an extended flavor profile in the aftertaste. You, sir? I was going to say on the nose, I didn't get the, or I did say on the nose, I wasn't getting the orange zest. It was more of a citrus. And as soon as I put it in my mouth and started tasting it, I got orange zest. Yeah. And I've got it in my notes as well. Orange peel, I guess, rather than orange zest. Um, but some, kind of some standard uh, bourbon notes with this as well, a vanilla, a caramel, a little bit of a cinnamon, the slight, slight rye notes are coming out, and that orange peel. Now I've got on the night that I sat down with this and took my notes, the longer that it sat with, with time and probably 20 minutes, the rye notes started to come out more. See, this doesn't hit me as quite as the quintessential rye that you kind of talked about. This one hits me like a dry, dry wine, leaving my mouth almost parched. Well, I was talking about the nose. The nose had some of the standard notes that I look for with a rye. Gotcha. On the palate, I'm actually getting more of the bourbon notes, I think, than I am the rye notes. This one hits my palate in an odd, weird way. The dryness feels like the moisture's just been sucked right out of my mouth. Mm -hmm. um, Almost, I mean, it's not even just in the center of the cheek. It's more up in my top upper palate. I'm with you on, on an orange peel. I mean, it's literally like I'm chewing on an orange peel in there. I yeah, and I think the difference is orange zest is probably just a little bit more yeah, bite to it, a little bit more sting of the orange. This is like the rind is in my mouth. Yeah. Like orange rind. I'm with you, the nose is much more typical, quintessential rye. The flavor is something wholly different. Now, when I added water, I get the, the cinnamon notes are still there. The citrus comes out and orange, but I just got orange peel again, even on the nose now. Um, 
and it was almost like it was almost like an orange zest, almost like I got sprayed with just like when you squeeze the peel and just a little bit of that mist I agree. gets you. I agree that um, the citrus, the the orange is strong in this one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the citrus is strong with this one. Um, the rye notes are there, the pepper spice, and and I get a, a white chocolate with it as well. Wow. Now you got me thinking, searching. Not getting that was, Well, that was the other night sitting there, and I, I can remember when I got that note. That was the first time I'd gotten a white chocolate. Hmm. I believe. I don't remember getting a white chocolate before. I've never heard you reference that. No. I like it. I think it's tasty. Um, I could see having this kind of around all the time for a rye. I'm not saying it's the best rye. I'm saying it's... You might have to work out a trade. <laughs> Hold on. Now you said you like the more uh, sweeter rye. This isn't hit me sweet. Hit me dry. It is. it is dry, but I think it's sweet as well. Those those orange citrus notes, um, I think, are really. Well, it's going to be interesting when we do our rye shootouts to see what comes out side by side blind with some of these. Because we've done so many rye now, it's like. Right. This is perfect for a shootout. The astringency surprises me here. I feel like I got cotton balls in my mouth. Just sucking the moisture out. <laughs> it's almost like it's hard to talk even. Like though. a cracker, saltine cracker like challenge. A, yeah, it's like the old cracker challenge we did or like I've been out post hole digging and I'm thirsty and I'm out of water. 83. 83, wow. Yeah. Hmm. It's just, it's not hitting me as a sipper. Maybe my palate just likes whiskey more. I'm just like, that's good. Maybe your palate <laughs> likes whiskey more. Maybe so. <laughs> Maybe my palate likes more whiskey. Maybe your palate. Maybe my palate likes... isn't as picky. I will, I'm picky. Yeah, Maybe that's I what it am is. Picky. I'm like, that's good. Drink it. Get it. Sure. Bye. I'm, I'm picky. Get it. I have no qualms with the flavor profile. It surprises me a little bit with that orange zesty or orange peel, not zest, mm -hmm. orange peel, orange rind. But the dryness with this turns me off. Mm. It's not the flavor. Yeah, but we've had other whiskeys that have been dry or, you know, we've referenced like a dry wine. Sure. The astringent. And I don't think that's ever affected your score before you said, oh, it's dry, uh. It's yeah. not a dry wine, uh. Right. Yeah, the astringency usually hits me on the side of the cheeks and it almost were to the point where I can feel like the roughness of my cheek. This is my entire mouth. Feels like I've packed it with cotton balls and I'm out of saliva. <laughs> okay. I'm almost wondering if I shouldn't score lower, but I like what the nose is. I like the flavor. The dryness is just turning me off. Hmm. Turning right. me off. It's like this eye in the ladies. Yeah. Turns them off. It turns them yeah, off. Yeah, I'm like, That's hey, you like my shirt? And they're like, I do not like they your shirt. They turn and run and Right, yeah, they're like, huge, here. huge giant man with funky manga shirt with eyeball on it. <laughs> and they run the other way. I'm like, hey, can I get your number? Or you, what I really yell out is, can I get your digits? Because yeah, that's the better, yeah. yeah. Can I get your digits? I want to text you. What up, yo? Yeah, well, yo, I want to send you some pics. And then they're gone. <laughs> Works, right. That works all the time. Yeah. I don't know why it isn't working, especially with this cap. Uh -huh. No, it doesn't block the sun. It really doesn't do much for you. Um, all right, uh, mouthful of cotton ball. Is it worth it? And I know this is this was thirty dollars, maybe thirty one dollars. For me, no. You wouldn't buy it again. I want to trade it with something you don't like. I would. I would buy it again. I mm. think it's worth it. We need a trade. We need to work out a trade. <laughs> Let's work out a trade. <clears throat> No, I, I think it's a good, sweet, spicy rye. I don't and know where it you're is getting dry. sweet. I get no yeah. sweetness. I get dryness. I get like Sahara, Sahara Desert in need of a flash flood. That's what I get. Huh. I'm just saying. Like I said, the flavor is okay, but the the rind is all right. Surprised me with I'm the getting, citrus. It's more like it's more Freudian 
with me or Pavlovian. I'm sitting here, I can just feel my taste buds back here are salivating. That is Holy. your body trying to equalize the saliva in your mouth because it's mm. ran away. That's funny because my phone is on vibrate. Hmm. It scared me. <laughs> you gotta leave that in there. Huh? Yeah. Well, you're editing it, so. Wow. I have to call her. That here. was. Whew. All right. Who is that? Is that like your agent? <laughs> Breaks off and some kind of rap. I made sure it was on time break. Goodness. Okay. Doing that. Scotch it, you Scotch gods. Cilantro. Dummies. Dummies.